it's definitely a big deal. This is, we think this is the largest acquisition of a, an internet startup less than five years old in history. It looks, the way you see these prices going up each time there's an acquisition, it looks like a bubble, doesn't it? Well, uh, what the, the, the issue here is, is that Facebook needs growth. Uh, and it, uh, Facebook has become, you know, something that uh, your grandparents are on. Everybody is on it now. Uh, but the kids and the youth, the young people are using messaging platforms like WhatsApp, particularly WhatsApp, uh, to, to, to interact. But and they're, they're not using Facebook nearly as much anymore. And the other thing is emerging markets. It's huge in emerging, emerging markets, much cheaper for people in Africa and Asia to contact each other via WhatsApp instead of using text. It is massive. I mean, 450 million users is huge, isn't it? But how is Facebook going to make money out of it? Well, Facebook has uh, done a very good job so far of pulling in revenues based on advertising. Um, and it's now doing things like commerce and e-commerce. WhatsApp is doing, will be doing similar kinds of things, um, and also in virtual goods. People will pay a premium to, to message in particular ways or to use virtual goods uh, as part of their messaging. What is using a virtual good as part of um, their messaging? Using, uh, instead of uh, using uh, just text, they might send pictures or uh, um, those kinds of things. Why is it then that Facebook's share price has dropped on news of this announcement? Well, investors are now worried that Facebook is effectively buying growth rather than having growth internalised in its own core company strengths. Um, it, it, it sends a signal to the market that perhaps Facebook doesn't have all of the magic, uh, the, the, the magic touch it once had.